And now I have another example of an exponential problem. This time, this deals with how much medication is in your body. After a patient takes the drug, the amount of medication in the bloodstream can be modeled by this function, which is the original amount, the initial concentration, times e to the negative RT power. R is the hourly percentage decrease, and T is the elapsed time. So we're going to look at a prop, look at a drug where initially there's two milligrams per liter in the body, and the the rate here is 0.2. So we want to find the concentration after three and a half hours. So that means our T is three and a half. So A would equal A sub zero times E to the negative RT power. So that's going to give me the original amount was two, E to the negative 0.2 times 3.5 in the exponent. So let me get my calculator and see what that gives me here. Two times E to the negative 0.2 times 3.5 power. That gives me a concentration of 0.993. Again, you would need to read the instructions to see what decimal place to on that to. This is milligrams per liter. Now this question asks, when did the concentration reach 1.5 milligrams per liter? So that means our ending amount here, this A, ooh, right here, is 1.5. So here we would be solving for our time. If we look at this, probably the easiest way to do this is to look at it graphically. So let's put in the 2 times e to the negative 0.2x power, and then let's set our y2 to be 1.5. There is my graph for the amount of medication in the body, and there is my 1.5. So I want to know where these intersect. I want to know what the x value is right there. So I'm going to go to second trace and calculate the intersection. The intersection was option 5. I want to move the cursor to where I think it is and press enter three times. And I get that this happens about where T is 1.44 hours. Now, we also have radioactive decay that we can look at, where we know about the half-life of elements. The radioactive decay will tell us the percentage of the original amount that's left. So this A of X here is actually some percentage of C, where C is what we started with. X is the amount of time, and K is the half-life of the element. So if we look at this problem, And we know that a radioactive element has a half-life of 27 years. That tells us that the K here is 27. We want to know what percentage of the sample remains after 65 years. So that means our X, our time, is 65. The function for this is A of X 
equals C times one half raised to the X over K power. Now, we know the X and we know the K. We don't know our C or our A of X, but let's just plug in what we do know here. This would be one half raised to the 65 over 27th power. So let me go to my calculator here again, go back to the home screen, and do one half raised to the, I need to be careful here, I need to be sure to put 65 divided by 27 in parentheses. I guess that this is 1.88. So the amount left is going to be C times 0.188. Now, if we think about this, 0.188 is 18.8%.